What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. So this week is actually exam week so in this video I thought I might as well go ahead and show you what I do to study and what exams are like or studying for exams are like in medical school. Obviously I can't show you the exams. So to give you guys a little bit of context this is our last week of school and last week we had our assessment or at least I had my assessment on my physical exam skills and if you're not familiar with what a physical exam is it's basically those general things that a doctor does when you visit him for what they call a physical so like the reflex hammer and checking your heart and all that stuff that's basically a physical exam and throughout our first year we learned all those techniques and last week I was just tested on performing a full physical exam and a full history taking and what's funny about it is our exam was actually recorded so me going in and talking to a patient and getting the history and doing the physical, we actually get to go back and look at the video recording of what exactly we did, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a little cringy to see yourself being like a novice doctor, but other than that, it's really cool and it does help you improve on the physical exam maneuvers because some of them are really hard to do. One of the things I used to study for the physical exam was, I'll try to show you it if you can, if it captures in the camera, but it's this physical exam book that um, it's made specifically by Yale and it goes over some of the anatomy, it goes over what you're doing and why you need to do it, which is really important, like why you're checking a certain area of the heart, like what it tells you when you hear certain things. And then um, it gives you the exact maneuvers that you should be performing and um, some more complicated stuff. And the other thing that I used to study for this physical exam assessment was this series of videos by Bates, like Bates Video Examinations. I'm not sure about the exact name, but um, basically these videos that go over um, some doctor performing each of the techniques on a patient so you can actually see what it looks like. And for physical exam maneuvers, I actually really recommend looking at videos because you don't exactly know what you're doing from reading but when you see it in video, it just becomes so much clearer and it's so much simpler. And I guess the most important thing for studying for the physical exam is just practice. Over and over, you have to go through the maneuvers, you have to time yourself, you have to gauge how you're doing the techniques and if you have to actually pay attention to if you're hearing what you need to hear, if you're hearing the correct lung sounds and how that's different from when you hear other sounds in the abdomen. Um, so just practice is honestly the best way to get better at doing the physical exam. So the physical exam was, I'd say, the first part of this finals week studying. So that was actually last week, um, last Friday. And so I've already done that, I've passed it, and it's out of the way. So now currently I'm studying for my actual exam. So what I'm studying is gastrointestinal system, the liver, and the endocrine system. So what I highly recommend as the first thing you want to do is this website called Pathoma. And this website basically goes over the pathology of each system. So for example, in this block, I do this exocrine pancreas, gallbladder, and liver pathology section. And I'd also do this endocrine pathology section. And so the endocrine pathology is 90 minutes, as you can see. And the exocrine pancreas section is 65 minutes. And the third section I do was this GI, gastrointestinal pathology, which is 157 minutes. So you can kind of see how long it would take me. Usually I like to watch these at 1.5 or 2 times speed, so it makes it a little faster. But, so this usually takes a couple hours and it's the first thing that I highly, highly recommend. And this might actually take a little longer because a lot of the time I like pausing and reading things and going back. But when using Pathoma you would think maybe I should take really detailed notes. And you can do that, but what I like to do is I don't really take notes, I just re-watch them and I use these pre-made notes. So when you buy the video series, it also comes free with the book. And the book basically has what's in the videos condensed into like outline form. Um, so I just use this to study um, as pre-made notes, which is really helpful. And it has pictures and stuff. They like pre-made notes with some pictures here and there. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'll check back in with you soon. And to give you 
guys a little more context of where I'm at with studying right now. So, like I said, I took the physical exam thing last week, got that over with, got the results I passed. And so now I'm starting on, well I've already started on studying for the GI and endocrine system. So I've been studying for a couple of days, I've been sleeping for about four hours each. Now as we get closer to the exam, I think I'm going to probably just sleep on an as needed basis which probably means like zero to two hours. Yeah, usually the day before my exam, which is now, it's basically a really hard stretch with barely any breaks other than video taking. Because I'm the reason I'm also taking the video now rather than my past exams, is I'm feeling a little more confident about this section and it doesn't seem as difficult as like our past sections. So I think I have a little more leeway. So a lot of the resources that I used to study are not specifically given to me by Yale, um, but what I do like to look at the workshop handouts and the lecture notes just to get a better sense of what I need to know in terms of classroom-wise for this material. So these workshop handouts are for these workshops that we have where we're in small groups and we go over these cases or specific examples of things like constipation and a patient with constipation. And so we just go over the material, like the content, with specific examples and in more detail, which I think is pretty helpful. Um, I don't want to linger on these for too long, but I'm just going to give these an overview. And so the next thing I'm going to do is, it's not going to be an in-depth studying, but just to go over the material really quickly, I like to use this first aid book. And in this book, it's basically all of medical school condensed into one book. And so I don't go over this too thoroughly, but I do like to make a quick pass over it to go over the most important information for this section. So I'm going to do that right now for probably a couple hours. listen to the music and show a quick video to give me some energy and check it out. So this is an NBA player and he's trying to draw a foul and so he's faking his injury which I just like watching it because it's funny how pathetic it is and forced. So this guy is like literally no one's touching him and he acts like he got flown halfway across the screen. So um, I either like watching something like funny or if I'm in the mood motivational, um, like it really depends on what I want to watch to give me some energy. So right now I'm feeling like watching something funny, um, just like wake me up and uh, there you go. So that was my break, uh, keep it short and sweet and get back to work. Thinking of if I should go to sleep now cause it's getting really late and then wake up early tomorrow or I should keep setting later into the night and then sleep for like an hour or two and then wake up at like 10 and study? Um, or should I just not sleep and keep studying? As it's getting late, I think I'm gonna end the video. So I'll just tell you what I'm gonna do and then I'm just gonna do that and take the exam and um, maybe I'll update you after the exam, maybe not though. So one of the last things I like to do before actually doing my exam is going through these practice questions to simulate what the exam is like. And so every week we're given these quizzes. And so I'm just going over all the quizzes. I've already done them. I'm just going over the quizzes and reading the answer choices um, so I can better understand why each answer was correct. So like if someone has, there's like a case study here, of like this person has jaundice or this person has like suspected hepatitis. And do you think it's hep A, B or C and then why? Like I said, I have the anatomy exam for two hours and then I have the actual GI endocrine exam for four hours. But before that, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is review a little bit more of my anatomy. I already did that earlier in the week, um, but I think I'm gonna go over it one more time. What I like to do is use these Yale iBooks. 
and it's specifically made by Yale, I think, but they're really, really good at showing you like the structure on a cadaver. I would show you what that looks like, but I don't think I should. Um, but I can show you like images um, and I label everything really clearly. Um, they're just really solid ways to learn anatomy and um, firecracker anatomy and like um, handouts, PowerPoints. But the iBooks are really helpful and really simple at labeling things. Um, obviously also online resources. Anyways, I think I'm calling it. Thanks for watching and sticking with me with this uh, exam studying. Hopefully you passed your exams and you're enjoying your summer. I'll be joining you shortly and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video.